So let's practice some color grading. I'm going to use some uh, video samples from the um, ARRI camera company. These samples look very flat and not very colorful because they're probably filmed in some kind of a vlog style of filming. It's similar to um, raw footage on a camera. The dynamic range in this footage is great. It's there for you to play with, but you don't see it initially right out of the camera. You have to, you have to uh, process it. So let's go through our process. Let's start with our friend the cow here. I'm going to highlight that package. I'm going to go up here. And, oh, need to make my, need to get rid of the, that. We just need these scopes. Let's have the waveform scope uh, and Luma, not the RGB parade right now. This I get this one scope view uh, by selecting the, the one. That way you can see it a little better. So remember on this scope, zero is pure black, 100 is pure white. These are uh, the Institute of Radio Technology, or IREs, Radio Engineers uh, units that's measured in. So we go up here and I like working with the color curves. Grab a color curve, I'm gonna start off by adjusting the luminance, bring that cow right back, right down to the dark. Now you could technically go up to the 100, but I don't wanna go that high. I like it a little darker like there. Okay, that's our, our first step. The next step I want to do is to white balance or, or do a neutral uh, color balance. Now the fur is white here, so, was, so I'm just gonna crop in to, to that. And I'm going to switch scopes to the RGB parade. And we see the blue is a little down, the red's a teeny bit up, not much though. We'll just adjust it a little bit, a little tiny bit down, a tiny bit up for the blue. Reset, there we are. Uh, things are, are color balanced. Now the sky is looking a little blown out. So I'm going to, I have to say done to this, or it won't work, grab the eyedropper from the Puma wave, pop it in the sky, so it gives me another node to work with. What happens if I lower that a little bit? I'm beginning to see uh, the clouds a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna get much more than that. Now I'm gonna move over to my hue and saturation curves because I wanna play with the, the color of the grass. Now, if I just want to keep the color of the grass and just saturate a little bit, I use the hue and saturation curve. So to do that, I'm going to find a piece of the grass that's not too bright, and not too dark, kind of a mid-tone. And let's see if we increase the saturation of the grass or decrease, desaturate, so it goes to almost black and white. So I like that much better. The grass is a little livelier and the cow, we have good, uh, good detail, good contrast, and things are looking good. Now, if you wanted to have a little more artistic notion of this, we could apply a hue to hue uh, curve, which changes the color, not just not the saturation, but the color. So this is where our green is. If we move it, it's going to change color. So we're going to kind of pinky and red, going to a teal. So you could play with the color uh, using the hue and hue uh, curve. The other ones are hue and luminance, luminance and saturation, saturation versus saturation and orange. You can play with those another time. Let's move on to the next image. Again, we highlight the image. We're going to start with the color curves, put that in. I want to start with my Luma waveform. Lower, let's get some of those shadows in. We're going to go bring it right down. So we, you can see the cows getting darker, particularly this fellow over here. And then we're going to bring it up a little bit. I like around 75, although you technically can go to 100. Uh, I prefer not to go that high. Okay. Now again, the, the, the sky is uh, looking a little lost. So I'm going to, oh no, first I have to white balance. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that first. 
So I'm going to grab that. There's a bit of white on this bull. We're going to, oops, grab the wrong thing. Let's put that back. And grab our RGB parade. And we can see it's very faint. They're pretty good, except the blue is a little lower, so let's raise the blue up a little bit. That's good. Reset. So we've got our neutralized balance. Then as I was saying, the sky is looking a little bit blown out. I have to say done here so I can use the dropper, otherwise it will not let me do that. I'm going to drop it on the cloud here. We've got a node to play with. I think I like that a little better. Now the other thing I noticed, I'm going to throw another hue and saturation curve on here because I don't like the way that this cow is looking. I think that one could be a little better, a little deeper. Oh, I want to go to hue versus saturation, not hue versus hue. Sample. And I want to increase the saturation, I think. Let's see what it looks like. There. There. That's a little better. Okay. So, I'm going to turn these off. So this is after. This is at before after. This is before. Oh, we should actually add another one of these for the grass. I didn't do the grass. I'm going to go in the Mid-tone here, not in the really bright part of the grass. Okay, so the grass is a little greener now. So that's a little bit of a color grade. So this scene, we start the same way. We're going to use our Lumina. We're going to grab our color curve, lower it. There, that looks better already. Oops, what happened? I actually accidentally hit the hit the return to nothing button here. So that's already looking pretty nice. White balance is kind of tricky on this one because there isn't anything white in the scene uh, for us to work with. That would have had to be done before, but let's have a look at the RGB parade. Might say it needs a little bit more blue, um, but that's hard to judge with it just being green. So let's skip that, that part. This looks reasonably good. Now let's move over and have a little fun with the hue and saturation um, curves. So let's say we want to intensify the color of these plants. We can really make them pop. Let's add another one of these curves, but this time let's play around a little bit, do some artistic interpretation. So again, I'm going to, I'm going to grab the same color, but this time I'm going to change the color with the hue to hue curve. You can have a little bit of fun with this. Another another uh, option is to play with the color wheels. Let me just go back and we'll turn these off. And instead we'll go to the color wheels. Color wheels are set up around the shadows, the dark part of the, the picture, the mid-tones, the middle and the highlights, the brighter parts of the of the image that you want to work with. You can work with the wheel. So if you decide that the mid-tones are too green, then you can push it towards the other side and introduce more, more of a red look to it. Um, you can also pop these down here, which is um, what I would prefer to do. So if I was working in the shadows or any of the mid-tones or highlights, you can grab individual bands of red and oops, and by adjusting that up or down, 
you'll see right away you're affecting the image. If you want to adjust the greens up or down, you're affecting the image. And then you adjust the blues up and down. You adjust the level of saturation, really saturated, black and white almost, and brightness. Okay, so those are options for you to artistically uh, play with the colors while, um, as well. Have fun.